Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a colouring chat and I'm doing the image what I've got in front of me and it's by Mr Cat Mirrors and I believe it's the Under the Sea PDF book what I downloaded. Um, just in case that you're wanting to know what it is. It's off at Etsy and I will put the link in the description bo uh, box below where I got it. It does show up like this on the actual website so it is foreign but it does transfer to, I do believe it does translate to Under the Sea and uh, mine's not in order because I've had to, I've had to double side print it because I ran out of paper halfway through so I had to print some of the images on the of opposite side but as you can see they're absolutely gorgeous images and I think I got mine on sale so I think it, I'm not sure I think it were about 14 15 pound and they're normally 20 odd pounds so it wasn't too bad it might have been cheaper I can't remember I cannot remember uh, it might have been even cheaper than that, what I'm saying. But I don't know um, what they are now, but I will, like I said, I will post it in the description box below. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing today, as you can see, uh, last uh, right last night, the night before, I was practising on uh, doing the purple skin. I've never done purple skin in my life. Now, I've been using Prismacolor Premier pencils because the easiest pencils that I find to blend uh, when I'm trying out new and um, risky, I want something that I know is going to blend really well. Now, the paper that I'm using, I forgot the name of it, but I will also post in the description box below. And it's an heavyweight paper and I do like the paper. It's really good. And I think this will take um watercolor on both sides because like i said i have got the images on both sides but i do think when it comes to blending stuff like this for the skin i am going to be using my derwin colorless blender and that's just so i can blend out the skin a bit better at the end because i did notice that the paper has got like a bit of a tooth to it and um, so at the darkest areas around the around the edges i noticed there were little bits of white left what won't blend in properly because uh, with the tooth of the paper uh, so i just use that to blend it out so if you're using this skin tone what i'm going to be doing on this image on different paper or you're going to be using it on another image on different paper you probably and you most should be able to blend your colours out with your lightest colour pencil out of the combination I'm going to be using. Right, so before we get on, I will have to apologise because I have got a fever. So back of my throat's really dry and I've got a really irritated eyes and nose. So you probably are going to detect it in my voice a bit. So for this image, I'm going to be doing the skin around the neck and a body. And I'm going to be tapering it off to lighter at the bottom because the body cuts off. And then in my following videos, I'm planning on doing an air blue. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm going for a, a, an alien look. So she's going to have like a medium to light blue air. And then these scales here, I was thinking about using metallic watercolour paint. But then I thought maybe... I could black out these lines. I'm just going to zoom you in. This artwork here, where it's lined, I'm thinking about blocking it out with uh, a darker black and blue and doing like a galaxy, like a space galaxy inside of things and seeing how that works out. But I haven't made my mind up yet. So if I do decide to do that, I might do the, the one thing off camera to practice and then I might do the other one on camera and show you exactly what I've done. Right, so what did I want to say beforehand? Ah, that were it. I was watching um, Colour Me Stress Freeze video, so if you're watching this, hello, Debbie. And I think it was the colour, I think it was um, one of the hauls she did for the colouring books and that. 
and I, I've been after some markers for ages because I know people that watch me know that I never use markers. I've never got on with them uh, before, but I've always used like Sharpies and stuff like that. I find that they really smell horrible. They don't blend well. Uh, I don't use markers enough to go out and buy a set of Copics because I'm not just going to do that. I have got a set of the uh, Winsor & Newton, is it the Pro? Yeah, the Winsor & Newton Pro colour, the Pro markers, I think they're called, in the skin set. But I was wanting to try these uh, ma some markers that would that would be decent enough that I could blend. And I was watching uh, Colour Me Stress Free's video and I noticed that she got some of the Lemon Shea markers. And I do believe that they're similar to the Touch New markers and the various other bland brands that you get. And I ordered the 80 set. And I ordered the 80 set because I'm just not going to, uh, probably not going to use the larger sets. I'm not going to use all the colours. And this came in, this one as you can see, it's like a leather case. Um, I don't know if it's a real leather, but it, it does feel good quality. It's a nice case. It also came with this marker pad and it only cost £35 for the whole set. And then it came with like a glove, so you've got a glove for one hand while you're using your marker so you don't get ink on your hand. Uh, so yeah, they, they do look like the uh, Touch New markers and the other brand, various brands that you can get. They are twin marker, they are a fine marker on one end, it's not a brush tip. But to be honest, I don't really, I'm not really interested in brush tips um, and it's just a broad marker on the other end. Now I did swatch all the markers out and there wasn't none that, uh, there wasn't any markers that were dried out. So I'm really surprised at that. And it did come with a, a card which you can swatch your colours on and it did come with a colourless blender. Um, this card's really laminated so the colours look better on paper than what they actually do on this card. But yeah, the colours were really nice. You get 80 colours. Um, I did try them out on a colour in Avon Hannah Lynn. Um, I think it were in Hannah Lynn special, steampunk special. And I tried it out on that. And if you want to see that, you can go over to my Instagram, which is Debbie Loves to Colour. And um, yeah, so I tried it out and I think they blended really well, to be honest. They, they didn't smell. I had no trouble blending the colours. I was really, really surprised. Uh, the air came out really well. Um, it, it looked really nice, vibrant, blended well. Um, I closed it. I think I did rest in watercolour. Uh, so I will be doing a video where I do a colour along um, doing these uh, markers. Just to show you how I get on with them because if I can get on with them anybody can because I'm like I said I don't normally use markers right so I'm going to get back onto this colour and chat I'm just going to zoom you guys in so what I'm going to do is I'm using my Prismacolor Premier pencils and the colours that I've decided to use is the Harla Purple which is PC1009. Oh, throwing the pencil away. And then I've got the lilac, which is the PC956. Then we've got the lavender, which is the PC934. I don't know if my camera's focusing. It looks okay in my view. And then I'm just to use as the lightest colour and it's the it's the deco pink. So it's PC1014. And then I've got a white just in case I want to um, lighten any areas. And as you can see, this is probably the last time I'm going to be using this white. And then I've got to replace it. I have actually got two other whites in Miss Burton to replace it but I wanted to get most out of my poor little pencil um, and then I'm just obviously using the Derwent colourless blender because of the two for this paper 
So you might hear my partner coming in halfway through because he's uh, had to go to chemist to pick up uh, some medication. So if we just come in, I'll try to cut it out of the video. Uh, but if not, and you do hear him coming in, I do apologise. Right, so I'm going to be doing the, the Hala Purple. And she does cut off, so my aim is to do a dark areas and then do a very light coming towards white here. So very lightly, in a very light layer, because you are going to have to blend it and you don't want to go too heavy on that pressure because it's just going to look a mess. So I'm just starting with the Darla Purple. And going over the areas where I want to most shaded. So I'm just doing it really lightly. As you can see, it's not too much. I'm not blending it or anything at, at this particular moment. She's going to have some coming down here. So I hope everybody's okay and uh, dealing with this um, lockdown that we've all been extended again. And I hope everybody's keeping safe and everything. Um, I have actually, I'm not working at all now, I have actually lost my job through all this. So I've got plenty of time on my hands to be doing stuff. Um, but I haven't really been motivated. I haven't been out running because I was... I, I think in my last colouring chat I told you that I will go in running. Uh, I haven't been running as much at all. Uh, I've not had motivation to do anything. I've just been liking it. It's been really strange. Um, I've had to force myself to do stuff. I have been reading though. I've been reading the... I did read the Sarah J Mass Crescent City. And I managed to get it done. And it was like an 800 and odd page book. But I really liked it. The um, cover of the book's really pretty. Um, yeah, really. I am actually going to show you. So I'm just going to pause you a minute. Right, I'm back. I just wanted to show you this. This was the uh, book that I read. It was the Sarah J Mass. Um, the author who does Throne in a Glass and A Court of Throne and Roses. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's such a pretty book but it's really thick but the cover's absolutely beautiful the, the uh, dust jacket and look at that we've got that nice artwork as well inside the book and you'll just have to excuse me because my partner's coming in and I, and the book itself's just red but the us the us version I believe it's even nicer because it's white and red. So it's got like a white line down with a gold moon on it. It's a lot better than UK version. Uh, but the book itself... But the, yeah, the actual book itself, at first it were hard to go into because it was um, a lot of info, world building, and there were a lot of info information at the beginning uh, so it took a while to get your head around it all because there was that much information being thrown at you uh, but if you wear some water then it's just my partner uh, but yeah relate, um, do it later on in the book after you've got all the info world building and everything I think for me it picked up after about chapter 5 and then Later on in the book, it does remind you. But it does remind you the most important things that you needed to know. Uh, but by the end of the book, I really liked it. Um, it was really good. Um, towards the end, it picked up a lot because I think there's going to be like three of the book. I think there's going to be like three. It's a free book. I'm I'm sure it's free that are going to be out. 
Uh, so I think it's definitely going to be really good the next then. But I noticed when I read the Throne of Glass, um, I really enjoyed that. I, I liked the first book and the second, but I found that it, as the books went on, they picked up a lot more. So I, I did like the Air of Fire, I think, what third book in Throne of Glass series. And I really like them better. But yeah, it, um, I did like the book. It's like, um, how can I put it? It's like an urban fantasy. So you've got your main character and uh, she's like an half fae. And then you've got um, archangels. So you've got all these angels. Um, you've got your governors, which are angels. So they're higher up in ranks. Uh, and they've, they've got like different sectors of their like universe. So... They've got like different sectors and then they've got different people um, who are all in charge. So you've got your like kings, queen, you've got your governors and um, you've got all your magical um, like I think they call them veneer. So you've got phase and you've got like kind of form like characters. You've got vampires um, so you've got like shape-shifting werewolf and so if you like old fantasy like that you'll probably like this book. Uh, but I will warn you, it, it is slow at the beginning. So I'm going to leave the dark area here because I'm going to taper her off towards end. And I think I'm going to just do a purple from here and then I'm going to do that bit of a rare blue. So I'm just trying to find out where I want it to be, the colour that's going down. So yeah, I've read that book and then I've gone straight on to reading the Mortal Instruments, um, the uh, Cassandra Clare, because I've got all the sets of her books and I've never read them. I've only watched the films and the series and I'm on book four. And then I've got the Infernal devices to read as well and i've just got the chain of gold which is a new one it's a new series of hers which follows on so i've got a lot of books to catch up on so that's all i've been doing really so i just thought i'd start doing a bit more coloring and getting into it Right, I'm going to put a bit of dark round here where the necklace is. Right, so the next colour I'm going to be going in with is the lilac. And all as I'm doing is taking it just from the darker purple not all the way over it so we're just going halfway over the darker purple and we're just going to fetch it out slightly but not too much not blending anything in yet this is just like a transition colour I'm hoping you can see that okay. It is daylight in here, but I've had to put my lamp on because um, the blinds just make the room look yellowy because they're like a beige, they're like a beige colour blind. Uh, we are going to actually get some silver, silver ones, and I think it'll make the room look a lot brighter. So we're just slightly going over the colour that I've put down not fetching it too far down uh, into these highlights because it is a smaller area than a face was. Right, so then I'm going to go with the next colour which is the lavender. 
So I'm just going to zoom you in a bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so I've, uh, apart from an absolute marathon of reading that I've got to do, I think I need to get um, outside uh, doing some work, you know, running, walking and that a bit more. Because it's not really good being cooped up without doing any exercise. Because I'm, I'm normally, if I'm not exercising, I'm, I can get at least some from work because like I was cleaning. And I were always tired out after a shift of cleaning. So with this um, lavender, you can start to blend, but I'd do it lightly, just start to blend lightly because I'm going to go back over with my colours. So I want to be able to go over everything. So I don't want to burnish my paper or anything, I want to be able to layer up the colours. If I go to hard pressure, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm building my colour up and then I'll do it with an harder pressure. Right, I'm just going to do the rest here. So I've gone back in with the lilac. Just to get it where I want it. Right, and then I can come back in with the lavender. And as you go to the white bit as well, you want to really lighten the pressure because you need that other lighter colour coming in as an highlight. So you want to really go really light. Just going to round this off because I don't want it to look square and then like before you can just start to blend this colour in a bit but leaving the lines really leaving your pressure really light towards the highlight Yeah, so today I'm literally in my pyjama top and some sweatpants. And just thought I'd do catch up on reading, catch up on doing a colouring chart and seeing how everyone is. I do want to get some lives done, but because at the minute me, me and my partner were like, he did his work, he's been doing workout videos. Um, so he's needed room, so I've not been able to come on and do any colouring charts. And the problem with uh, lives as well is he's putting him around while I'm do uh, doing him. So it's whether I'm going to get interrupted all the time when I'm trying to do a live video. So if you just bear with me, I will try to get one done. 
and then hopefully this thing will well it, hopefully things will improve and we can get back to some kind of normality and then i'll be able to do my lives again But to say that I've um, got nothing on and we can't go anywhere, you'd think I'd have done a lot more colouring than what I have been doing because I've got all time it will turn, really, and I haven't been able to concentrate or do anything, so... But I've just not really been in mood. I've kind of lost my colouring mojo. So I've just tried to concentrate on getting that back and get myself a bit more motivated. going to turn it so you can see everything I'm doing all I'm doing now is just blending it out a bit it's not going to be properly blended yet because I'm going back in with darker colours so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my pink uh, my deco pink and this is where I want my light colours to be So when I put my, uh, this colour down, I'm really going to have to start putting a really hard pressure down so I can get these colours blended in. Because you really need to put pressure on it to get it blended, especially with the paper that I'm using. So what I'm going to do here is start to taper it off really lightly. I'm going to actually put a little bit purple underneath here. So I'm just going to put a little bit just where my necklace is underneath there because I think it'll look better. So just very lightly, only a little bit. Let's go back up over with all my colours, so I'm going back in with the lilac. And then going back with the lavender. Yeah, so as you can see what I'm doing, it's not really been hard at all to do this. It's really, it's really easy, quite simple. And I've never ever done purple skin before with pencils, so I think it's turned out pretty well. So then we're going to go to the pink and really start to blend into that line of the uh, rose, the, um, I forgot colour of it now, the lavender. So then what we're going to do is very lightly start coming off with the pressure really lightly so blend over any lines and then loosen your pressure so it's really faint colour coming down towards the white because she kind of just cuts off don't she 
I'm just going to blend this bit out here. And you can also take your white pencil as well. And just blend that, blend it out a bit with white. So she's faded off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to darken her up. And we're going to get the colour what I've got here. So I'm going to go back in with my colours. So I'm going back in with the darkest colour, my Dehala purple. So we'll start back up here. And I'm putting a medium pressure on. I'm not going too hard with the pencil at all. Just slight medium pressure, just so it darkens it up. And I don't know if you can see on my paper, but you'll see it's harder for me to blend. It leaves little bits of white. Um, but I'll show you. Uh, that's why I've uh, got my uh, colourless blender with me. I can put more of a pressure on around edges and it fills it up a bit. <laughs> but with mine, it just looked a bit better with colourless blender. But normally I normally I can use the lighter colours to blend in. So where all my darker areas, I want shaded in. And towards edges, if you want, you can go really dark. Uh, so you can put a lot more pressure on. And then just take that pressure off as you go in into the lighter colours. So we can blend our next colour. So yeah, as you can see, I just have to blend um, a lot more with this paper. And then I'm going to go in again with the next colour, which is the lilac. And just try to blend everything with a harder pressure. Come in lighter so we can get the lavender down. And then I'm coming in with my lavender.
so when it comes back to the rose deco what are we on deco pink just put a really heavy pressure down So we've just got the highlight it in the side of her neck instead of it being front down because she's like facing to the side. So if you wanted you could just go in and darken areas up. In here I'm just going to put a bit more of the lighter purple down. So it looks a bit more better. So you can go back in with your darker colours and just darken it up where you need it to give it that bit of definition. And then the, if your shape's not looking how you want it, you can change it like I've just done and added a bit more lighter down there and then just go back in. And I'm gonna put a bit of my bl uh, colourless blender on and blend it a bit better. So I'm gonna fetch some of this darker colour a bit further down. Right, so I'm gonna take my colourless blender and I'm just gonna start to smooth it all out. And if you are using a colourless blender, just bear in mind not to go over your lightest bit because it will drag the dark across the light bit and we definitely don't want that. We want it left as an highlight. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's getting rid of all the white little bits. I'm just smoothing any lines out. If you do want to smooth any of your lighter lights, uh, your highlights, get a blank piece of paper, get your colourless blender and just clean it off and then go in to, to smooth it out. So I'll show you. I'm just going to... Blank piece of paper and clean it off. So you've got none of that dark purple on your pen. And there you've got it. And if you've got anything like here, where I've got a little bit of a strand of air, you can just go back over with a sharp black pencil, which I will do later, and draw this line back in because it's a strand of a rare. So just the same here, I'm going to go back in for all my colours. So it's really not that difficult at all. So I'm going to do this, rest of the skin, and then I'm going to do the rest in another video. Like I said, I'm going to do a hair and I'm going to pick a blue combination out. 
and I think I'm going to practice on one of the fins, a galaxy, and then I will show you what I've done on the next one. And then that way we're not on camera for hours because it would be easier to do it live. A lot easier if it were live and then I wouldn't have to mess about hours of editing and trying to get it uploaded. I'm going to keep this bit all dark and then I'm going to fetch it round a necklace. So it's literally just going over and building that layer up for everything what we've just done to darken it off. I don't want too much of this dark colour around the bottom of here. So towards the edges I'm just going to put more pressure down, see if I can blend this colour in. It's very difficult for me to do videos um, when there's no, normally like I said my partner used to go to workouts. And I could come home and I could do a video because I've got the house to myself so there's no interruptions. Um, but it's like now if I do one um, and he comes home he's pottering around house. And vice versa when he's doing work, uh, when he's doing work out so we're just going to have to do our best. Um, he don't play Xbox or out so we don't sit there with his headphones on or anything because he's always pottering up and down stairs and that so he's moving around quite often so if you do hear it I do apologise but I suppose houses are to be lived in down but all this lovely weather we're having eh and we're stuck inside yeah. I mean before we went into lockdown we were having very right crappy weather and rain and everything weren't we and then I think from second were it second week we were locked down weather were really nice couldn't believe it so yeah at least we can go for walks and stuff still though. It could be worse, we could ban exercise altogether. Right, I'm going to come in with my next darkest colour which is the lilac. Just try to blend it into that darker Dahala purple, just where the line. So we're getting rid of any lines. And 
then we need to do a really light a smooth towards the highlight so we can get that pink down in the lilac just gonna move you so you can see exactly what I'm doing This paper as well, because this is a bit of a tool. I think it might be better we add pencils this, because these pencils do blend really nice, but it eats away at your pencils. <laughs> they are really crumbling. So I'm gonna come in with the lavender now. And you can use this lavender or the lightest pink as a blender. If you're using different paper, you're not going to need to do what I'm doing with a colourless blender. I can normally always blend my pencils with the lightest colour. But if you want that little bit of extra help, go ahead, use a stump or a blender. And then just again on this side. And just here I'm going to smooth it out so I can get that lightest pink down. So my pressure coming towards the highlight again wants to be lighter and if you go towards the edges just put a harder pressure on to blend everything in. Like here I'm going to just put a really light pressure of it down, just so I can blend that other colour in. Just there. And if you like me, just have to excuse me. And you do transfer any colour on onto your page, it doesn't matter, like I have here, just it will just erase off. Or it normally would, someone's pinched my batteries. I'm just going to have to use it normally. Um, I think my partner's been in here and took my battery out. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> he has, he's been in and took the battery out. Uh, but just erase it off any colour transfers onto your paper. And then we'll go to our lightest colour. So again, where we've put that last lavender down, just with a really hard pressure this time, so it all blends in. I don't know if you can see that, but with this paper it really crumbles.
Right. And then again, just gonna lightly come further down with it. And then I can use my white. Which also works as a blender. And just fetch that pink down further out into the white of the page. Just so it tapers off. And again, if you want to darken any areas up, just go back in with your pen. So it's just like that. As you can see, they're really crumbling on this paper, these pencils. So now I'm going to use my blender. I'm just going to clean it off. I always clean my blender off before I use it. And I'm just going to try to blend out these little bits of white. Smooth out any lines. And if you like me and you're clumsy and you get any colour onto the other parts of the page, it doesn't matter, you can just erase it off afterwards. Or go in with another colour. So I'm just smoothing out everything. So just like a shoulder as well, just moving out all them white bits, just making sure you can see. And then I'm going to again clean the blender off before we go into lighter purples. And then I'm going to clean it off again before we go into this pink highlight because I definitely don't want purple, dark purple going into that highlight. So if you want to smooth out any lines, it really helps you to do that. I'm just going to keep cleaning it off. Let's have a look. You can always go back over and darken areas, um, but I don't think you need to. And that's it, you've got your purple skin. So she kind of tapers off. And you can use you go up you can also use your white as a blender if you haven't got a colourless blender. Just keep cleaning your pencil. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy how she's turned out. Um I think the effect that I will go in for looks really nice.
Right, rub some of this area out here. That's it. But yeah, I think blue wear. So in the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a rare, which is going to be blue. And I don't know whether I'm going to be using Prismacolors though. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know. Should I use Prismas? Probably. It's probably going to be Prismas. We may as well keep it to the same pencil. Uh, and then like I said, I'm definitely, I think, I think I'm going to do a Galaxy background. Uh, so I'm going to practice on one and do the other. So hopefully it'll turn out right. So if it does, you'll see the other one on camera. Um, the only other option I've got for that is to maybe do my watercolour metallic paints. But I think it'd just look a bit different if I did it like in a galaxy. We'll see. Um... And then a lips, I think I'm going to be doing a lips of darker purple. And her eyes, I think I'm going to be doing a darker purple as well. Or shall we do her eyes blue to match her hair? No, we'll do them purple. Right, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for rambling on, uh, but yeah you'll definitely i'll have made my mind up by the next video what i'm doing <laughs> in next color and chat i hope you're all well i hope you're all keeping safe and i'll see you again soon and bye thank you for watching